the Raptors might have done it again. What is going on, Rosano Nation, Raptors Nation? Welcome back to another edition of Raps Report, a podcast where I talk about the Raptors and the NBA. I'm your host, Luca Rosano. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all staying safe out there. Before we get into today's show, do me a solid favor. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't new. Plus hit post notifications so you stay notified on all of the episodes that I post here on my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media and become a channel member today. This Malachi Flynn kid, he's pretty damn good. And he could end up being the steal of the draft. Now, before I continue and say anything more than that, let me make this clear. Yes, I know it's very, very early. Yes, I know we've played two preseason games. You know... Games where players don't go their hardest, and these two games came against the Charlotte Hornets. Not one of the best teams out there. However, you gotta like what you've seen so far from Malachi Flynn. And I'll be honest with all of you. I did my live reaction when the Raptors selected Malachi Flynn, 29th overall on TikTok. And I was surprised. I thought they were gonna go with another name. I thought they might have gone with a big... When they drafted Malachi Flynn, didn't know too much about him. Had to go do my research, had to go watch highlights of him because I never watched a live game of him when he was playing with San Diego State. So I was in the blue. But after seeing the first two preseason games, he stood out to me a lot more than the quote-unquote number one guard of the 2020 draft class, LaMelo Ball. And it's interesting because I remember seeing a tweet, I think it was from Isaiah Thomas, um, As after Malachi Flynn got selected by the Raptors, Isaiah Thomas took to Twitter and said, this is going to be the best guard of the draft. So that just goes to show that It's not just a Raptors thing. I mean, a lot of people see Malachi Flynn as being a very good player. So let's further examine Malachi Flynn's game. So against Charlotte, his pull-up jumper, I gotta say, guys, it was an absolute joy to watch. I mean, he has super nice form. Whether it was from beyond the arc or in the mid-range, I really love this kid's shooting mechanics. And then he can create space with his dribble and has a wicked right-to-left crossover that we did see a couple of times. Flynn has shot over 50% through two games, despite taking most of his shots from deep or the mid-range. And then defensively, Flynn has been better than advertised. Now let's remember, Flynn is coming off the Defender of the Year award for the Mountain West Conference. So we knew this kid was all about defense. But with his size and his build and going up against bigger bodies in the NBA, it was still a concern. And I was interested to see if it was going to translate into him having success when he did make the jump to the NBA. And and so far, so good. I mean, Malachi has been able to hold his own defensively. Kind of like another undersized guard who's pretty darn good defensively. Oh, and by the way, he also plays for the Toronto Raptors, and that's Fred Van Vliet. He was able to snag four steals through two games, and they were able to come on the ball and off, and there was a couple of times where he jumped live dribbles and also was as effective in the passing lanes as well. So overall, Flynn has scored 26 points, has seven assists in his first 40 preseason minutes. He shot 42.9% from deep, and the biggest thing is that the Raptors have outscored the Hornets by 48 points with Flynn on the court, and that is highest among all Raptors players. And so far in the preseason, Fred Van Vliet has been a mentor to Flynn, and this is what he had to say. Getting the offense initiated and breaking down the defense has been a pleasant surprise. That's not easy to do in this league and to come in and be able to do that. I mean, listen, it's still the preseason and don't want to get carried away here, but he's looked good. So, yes, it's still early. Yes, a lot of people might be suggesting that Raptors fans are getting too ahead of themselves. But if there's one thing I've learned, you never question management's decisions. And if there's going to be a team and an organization that finds 
the steal of the draft or finds the next diamond in the rough, it's going to be the Toronto Raptors because they have the track record. So I love this kid's game. He's been my favorite Raptor to watch so far in the preseason. And you just get that feel that every time he comes onto the court, at least from what we've seen so far, it's changed the complexion of the game. And there's another big thing that I've noticed about Flynn. He's very to himself, very humble. After hitting a shot or making a big play, he doesn't you know, boast about it. He's not raising his hands. He's not clapping. He just goes about his business. And this is great to see from a young kid. I mean, the maturity he has shown so far has been impressive. And it does remind me of a Fred Van Vliet, a guy who's just going to go out, do his job, play his game, not look for recognition, not look for praise, make the right plays. And that's, that's his MO. That's what his game is. Flynn is all business. And that's what I've gotten from this guy so far. He could do it on both sides of the ball. I love his shot. I love his form. His playmaking ability has been great. His defense has been solid. And all in all, you can see why there's a lot of people excited about Malachi Flynn. I'm excited to see what he does the rest of the way. I'm excited what he does against better teams. I'm excited what he does when he gets more minutes. Because if he continues to develop and play like this, more minutes are coming his way. And that's a good thing. And I think he will thrive with the minutes that he's given. And I really love the pairing of Flynn and Terrence Davis. I mean, that game against the Hornets that I did a live post-game show for, my goodness, Terrence Davis and Malachi Flynn, that was a glimpse of what could be if the Raptors decide to make that their backup backcourt of Malachi and Terrence Davis. They complemented each other so well. Both of them, you know, looking great out there. Their styles flourishing with one another. So I'm excited. I really am. And Malachi Flynn didn't know much about this kid coming in. And it looks to me that he has potential uh, to become something special. And he is poised to once again become the steal of the draft. So I just wanted to do a video on Malachi. Uh, couldn't help but to talk about this guy even more and share my opinion, share my early thoughts on him. What do you guys think of Malachi Flint so far? You hear my stance on him. I'm giving him high praise early on. Again, I'm not getting too ahead of myself. I'm not saying he will undoubtedly be the steal of the draft. I'm saying he could be the steal of the draft, especially if he continues to uh, blossom before our very eyes. So what have your thoughts been on Malachi? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're so close to 18.2K. Let's hit that. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on social media. Get pumped. Get hyped. The regular season is coming very, very soon. But before we get into that, we got one more preseason game. The Raptors will play their first ever home game in Tampa Bay, Florida when they wrap up their preseason preseason schedule against the Miami Heat. So I'm going to be doing a postgame pod after that. That's going to be on Friday. Be on the lookout for that. And that's it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be great and stay blessed. Peace.